Hello everyone, we're going through the exam 2 formula sheet for physics 202. Okay, your test is coming up and it would be good to take a look at this formula sheet. First off, he does have a broken up by chapters, so I'm going to draw lines breaking these up by chapters. There we go. First chapter, second chapter, third chapter down here. Magnetic fields and forces, uh, magnetic induction, and AC circuits at the bottom. Now, no mention of right hand rules anywhere, so you're definitely going to have to know those. Second thing, the first equation up here is for the force on a positive charge in a magnetic field. This is centripetal acceleration. There's an equation missing. It's R equals, and it's MV over BQ. He, he has these two here. You can get this equation by putting these two together, but I don't get why he does that. Here's Bill. I call this one Bill in class. Okay, this is torque on a wire loop. And I'm not sure what that equation right there is. Not sure what that is. Anyhow, this is the magnetic field on a long straight wire. Magnetic field on a wire loop. Torque on a wire loop, magnetic field on a wire loop. They're not the same equation here. This is the value of the constant mu naught. This is magnetic field in a solenoid. This is the force on two wires carrying a current, and I never would have written it that way, so I don't know why he did. Okay, this is, I don't know what that is. Mu naught I over two. Okay, 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 I know what that is. That's when you have more than one loop wrapped around each other. In, in other words, this is the wire magnetic field on a wire loop. This is magnetic field on like 100 loops, okay? Over here, this is mu naught over 4 pi. I'm not sure what that is because we never use it. This right here is Ampere's Law again. These two at the bottom, we never really use those. And I should have recognized this one. I didn't recognize it because I put the N in front of the equation, not behind it. And that's where it lost me. All right, moving down a little bit, we get to the second chapter. This is magnetic flux. Okay, magnetic flux permeates this chapter pretty hardcore. He doesn't have Lenz's Law on here talking about increasing flux and decreasing flux. This is Faraday's Law of Induction. This is Faraday's Law of Induction for a slider. Now, the slider problems, he always puts one of those on a test, so it's good to have that. Okay. This is mutual inductance for two coils. You have one coil with a current, alternating current. You have another coil next to it. The alternating current causes a magnetic field to cycle back and forth through it. The coil over here receives the magnetic field, and it causes a current in it. So that's what this is, mutual inductance. And so is this. This is mutual inductance as well. Ford usually doesn't bother with these. Okay. And again, mutual inductance right there. Mutual inductance right there. This whole line right here. I've never seen on one of his tests. So I ignore that. Now down here, he does he does go after these guys down here. This is an inductor. A self-inductance. Okay. Um, right here, the energy stored in the inductor. This is EMF, an inductor, due to the changing current. And this is equation for calculating the inductance from it. We're missing an equation for it. It's too involved. I don't remember it. It's like mu naught N squared LI, something like that. Okay. Over here, this is magnetic. I mean, this is energy density due to the magnetic field. In other words, this will tell you um, how much energy per cubic meter a, a magnetic field has. It's, it's very rare for that to be on exam one. That's almost always on exam three. This right here is... Sorry, my phone is ringing. This right here is for a transformer. You have the primary side and the secondary side. The ones are primary, the twos are secondary. Okay? Down here, we have an equation that he does not use. He does, in fact, these three right here we don't use at all. 
These three right here are used for RL circuits, inductor capacitor. Uh, inductor resistor circuits while he does put those on a test they're 90 percent theory based they're not this so we don't use those this is a frequency of this oscillations between an inductor and a capacitor notice it's down here as well the same two equations that's because this one right here is resonance frequency okay which we're going to talk about in a second now, getting down into the second chapter, AC circuits, third chapter, I'm sorry. Uh, these two don't really need to be here too much. Well, this one, if you don't know, it should be here, 4 pi times 10 negative 7, but it's up there, so I don't know why it's duplicated. This one here we need on the second chapter, not this chapter. I mean, on third test. We'll need this on the third test. Here is the uh, equations relating peak current to RMS current, peak voltage to RMS voltage. Okay. Now moving down, we have the reactants, actually the voltage and current. Remember the current is the only thing that's constant throughout the circuit. So here's the equation relating all the voltages to the current. Here we have the reactants. Okay. Here's the reactants for a capacitor. Oh, the reactance for an inductor is here, the reactance for a capacitor is here. The voltage for the inductor is here, the voltage for the capacitor is here. This is the conversion between angular frequency and linear frequency. Here is impedance, the equation for the impedance. V equals IZ. This I don't really use. I would rather use cosine phi is R divided by Z. This will give me phi, just like this will give me phi. Some teachers won't use this because there's some issues with leading and lagging that this won't show, but this does. As long as you're careful, you're okay with this one. Here's power. Power is just not IV like it would be in normal circuits. Power is a mismatch of things because of the phase difference between the voltage and the current due to the capacitor and the inductor. All right, there's a quick rundown through the formula sheet. I hope that helps you with the test. Sorry the phone rang, but I can't do anything about that. It's off now.